Well, billionaire Raj Rajaratnam used inside connections to get the scoop on a major intel investment. That detail came out in court on Monday as the government builds a case against the hedge fund manager it has accused of insider trading. John has been watching that trial. Is back with us with the latest. Betty, on Monday, the prosecution in this case picked up where they left off last week, and that was to play tape between Raj Rajaratnam and a former Intel executive, Rajiv Goel, who has pled guilty to sharing secrets from Intel. Now, the allegations are that Rajaratnam was paying Goel for those uh, Intel secrets, uh, and one in particular uh, about an Intel investment, a billion dollar investment in a joint venture with Clearwire, a company we've been talking about a lot over the last couple of days. Here's what Guell told Raja Ratnam on these tapes. Quote, did you digest the information I gave you? Let me tell you what the board is going to do. And then there was a call later on the day when this conversation, conversations were taking place, and he said, yesterday our board approved this deal. Now, this is all setting the stage for the likely appearance on the stand by Rajiv Goel. Uh, play the tapes first, and then bring them up and get more clarity on it as the government looks to build its case, Betty. And John, what does all this mean then for the defense? How will Roger Rotten's legal team, how, do, how will they counterattack this? Well, the expectation is they're going to do the same thing that they did with Anil Kumar, who was a former consultant at McKinsey, who, remember, was grilled by John Dowd, the lawyer for Raj Rajaratnam, on the issue of what really was new information here. Uh, in that example, he was battling back and forth as to whether or not tips that Anil Kumar was giving to Raj Rajaratnam about AMD were actually really strong inside information because there were press reports of possible deals involving AMD. Well, he will likely do the same thing with this Intel deal, which there were some press reports about. The bottom line is what the defense is trying to do, Betty, is question every single government witness that takes the stand and further muddy the waters on how strong the government's case is.